Oh, what did I do to be blessed with such a perfect face? Huh. Have you had your eyes tested lately? What? Oh, here he is, the sleepwalker. I don't sleepwalk. Uh, do I? I don't know what you do, Dad, but you managed to fall on me in the middle of the night, stumbling around in the dark. At least you didn't think you were the Kazi. Eh? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, this place is too cramped. Old Mother Hubbard would fit right in. What? Well, I'll be gone soon. I don't mean Old Mother Hubbard, do I? I mean the old lady who lived in a shoe. Was that dead cramped? Yeah, Daniel gets back today. Oh, great. More bodies to fill the place up when he bobs round for a brew and bangs on about Bertie. <whistles> Amy, you all right? Dad, did you leave your undercrackers lying about? Oh, shut up. Well, don't rush to see what the problem is, Tracy. Whatever you do. I'm doing my face, Peter. It's a work of art. There's no hot water. The shower is absolutely freezing. This is so unfair. But we have constant hot water. Oh, well, you go get in the shower then. Don't talk to Grandad like that. Yes, that's your mother's job. No, she's right. Stone cold. Boiler must have broken. Great. Don't worry. I'll sort it. I'm a grown-up. Boiler engineer now, are we? Uh, well, obviously not. But I'll phone somebody. This is my house now, once Dad sells it to me. Oh, well, thank you. I'll be in touch. Did you hear that? Yes, you'll be in touch. No. Did you hear how much it's all going to cost? Enlighten me. The best part of two and a half grand, if I get the flu as well. As well as what? A premium boiler, thank you very much. You know, it's a day's work. Guaranteed for years, though. So that's really exciting. Well, I'm sorry to hear it's going to cost so much, but uh, don't expect me to put my hand in my pocket. Oh, I wouldn't dare, Dad. Be too scared a load of moths would fly out. But it is your responsibility. Oh, yeah? How do you work that out? Well, you're the one who keeps banging on about how the house is still yours. Conversely, you've made it patently clear that the house belongs very much to you and to you alone. So, actually, Tracy, over to you. He's right. You did say that. Oh, shut your alcoholic face. What are you even doing here? Well, I've come to see me dad after I've been to the meeting. It's what families do, Tracy. They stay close. Oh, you are so annoying. Oh. 